Uh, bam, welcome to Grifflands, everybody. Big thanks to Clay Entertainment for coming to me. Uh, because they knew Tom. Tom, you're so good at games. Uh, that we want you to show off the, you know, the subtleties and intrigue involved in Grifflands. Um, and yeah, thank you to them for helping to make this video happen. Uh, so we are in on the Grifflands. Um, there's a couple of different characters, but we are just going to stick with old Sal. The Kraken dog has its charm. The patrons look lively. And the floorboards creak like a well-fed toad. No one's saying that. That's the narrator's voice. Is that how I want to commit to the narrator's voice? I, know, I think we'll get something a bit more sensible. You can speak like this. There you are. I started to think you might have gotten mugged before you even made it through the door. Your faith moves me, fish. Uh, <laughs> that's. No, I'd probably have a slightly more more feminine voice, but I can't really do those very well. Your faith moves me, fish. But I do feel ready for a fight. Like my blood is pumping, you know. Okay, so the way this game works is it is a kind of deck building, roguelike, story based game. God, I don't, I don't know quite how to describe it. I'd say it's pretty pretty unique in its, its sort of like formatting and uh, we will get cards to build decks that we use for all kinds of things negotiating fighting and mainly those mainly those two things um, so right uh, she's going to give us something ooh different every time I start do I want healing vapors uh, which healing actually feels pretty good boombox a lumen grenade well that sounds amazing and the crackler uh, which is a fun, fun pistol. Let's do it. Let's, let's, let's take a bomb and a gun. How, when is that ever going to go wrong? Let's get some work. I got people in my pocket who owe me a favor. Uh, Lasquio, Enit, and Sentru. Uh, there's just like a bunch of, just a bunch of people, just a bunch of cool dudes. They're easy people to find. Tell them I sent you and they can settle their tabs by giving you work. Get that done, and I'll give you a plate of popped Oshnu eyes on the house. Well, that sounds delicious. What's an Oshnu? Domesticated giant snail. Uh, used for food, transport, and entertainment. Oh my god, I'd watch the snail races any day of the week. Uh, bless, wow. Bless your body hide, fish. I'll hold you to that. Wow. Is that a nice thing to say? Are these like snail people? Okay, so we are on the trail of the bad the bad dudes and we've got to get into some business repo person and its business partner pluck has gone missing with the buyer's money find pluck and complete the sale before the buyer gets angry okay that sounds pretty good yeah let's go let's go do repo wow okay so we are in an area and there's loads of people that we can kind of like go and hang out with ozo has only been in the grifflands for a year but he seems to be fitting in well he's a cool dude he's got like good chin well met traveler <laughs> um hello uh so right now i'm only neutral uh, i've only just turned up most people aren't gonna have a massive problem with me but this is one of the cool parts of the game um as you do stuff and you make decisions here and there People begin to like or dislike you, which causes repercussions, let's just say. Enid's success as a smuggler is nevertheless earned, in spite of her being known to skim a little off the top whatever of whatever she's smuggling. <laughs> she's like a funny dog person. Day to you. Oh my god, day to you. I love it. Have a day. Uh, love that way of saying, of saying kind of like nothing to someone. I'm offering my arm for pay. It slices, it dices. You won't find a better offer, I tell you. <laughs> Maybe just a firm handshake will do the trick. Arf, arf, arf. Just find pluck. Get the goods, then deliver them to our client. I'll pay you extra just to make sure this all gets smoothed over, okay? Uh, bam. Well, we've got missions to do, so let's do it. Um, so I can add a card to my deck, uh, which will be fun to do. Remove target arguments composure. If this card destroys an argument, game on dominance. That's pretty cool. Uh, I think we need to go with oppress. Okay, let's go and find pluck. Uh, we don't need to go to the grog and dog. Um, man, into into this map. I like the color scheme. Very pink. Uh, repo person. Oh no, we had a random encounter. Uh, as you're passing by a bubbling tar pit, you hear a high pitched whine from somewhere nearby. Looking around, you spot a lone cryo pup struggling in the clotted black mud. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, that's not a dog. Oh. Untrained pets help you in battle, but are a disadvantage in negotiations. Uh, 
uh, well, we've got to get into a lot of negotiating, but I think we'll... Why... When would we ever not take the dog? Oh! Come on. Come on, Bongo. Higsbury! I'm going to call you Bongo. Uh, right, okay, so we... There are random encounters. There's a lot of, um, you know, random randomness going on here. Okay, there's a couple of workers. We don't know who any of these people are. Um, just because Sentry's in charge doesn't mean the labor's any lighter. Another day, another shell. Another drink. Um, oh, pay them to help me. Might be a bit of trouble coming. You're looking to make some cash? Ooh, 45 shells, and she'll help me in the fight. Nah, we don't need it. We can do this. The fuel stains and the fire in her eyes. It's easy to see a bit of yourself in Pluck. Pluck nods an acknowledgement of your presence. Well, let's just start. Um, ask Pluck about the money, yeah. You Pluck. And it sent me. Wants to know where the money's got to. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> Look, the fact is, I might have dipped into the money to pay off some debts. I had no choice. My debt collector was going to kill me. But now, I guess the client's going to kill me. And edit both if we don't put over. Mm, off to settle the debt. I just don't have the money. Propose to betray Ennit for a share of the money. That doesn't sound very good. Attack to set an example. Huh. So she's got like a she's got like a goon with her, but we do have Higsbury, who is called Bongo. Maybe we can like talk to the guy and see if we can get rid of him. Uh the laborer rubs his elbow. Like it's been ten years since they ran out of Greece. Oh this is how he's gonna speak. Uh pay him to look the other way. Pay him to help me. Wow, if I can pay him to help me, this will be super good. Forty five shells. Um, might be a bit of trouble coming. You're looking to make a bit of cash? Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, well, that just didn't fucking work. We, we're gonna have to do it, and we're gonna have to take that guy down as well. Sorry, Pluck, but someone's gonna have to explain your mistake to the client. This'll sting, but it might keep you and Enid alive. At least until the next screw up. <gasps> what? <laughs> uh, you pull out your weapons and Pluck for silent. Okay, they've both got, like, f proper Fisto gauntlets. So, we're in a fight, and um, we have a bunch of action points that we can spend, and we've got cards to use as well. I've got my good boy dog, untrained Yote Higsbury. Oh, we're going to have to go and try and get him trained. Bongo the dog. <gasps> we do have the bombs and stuff. Uh, so, I guess they are both just swinging for six. Oh, no, he's swinging for seven. Ouch. I'll try and keep Doggo alive. Uh, we can give him some armor, and... I guess just, like, let's just take out the goon first. And end the turn. Ow. Ow, my dog. Who, like, why, why would you punch someone's dog? Okay, Doggo actually swinging in for quite a lot of damage. Plus we have two damage. Okay, right. Um, I'm gonna do it. Let's just, like, bonk out the grenade. Um, and then the dog should be able to deal with Heavy Laborer Shake. Let's, um, let's keep Doggo safe, um, because that, that doesn't feel good, them punching my dog. Chomp, chomp. Nice. He gave up. Ooh, winded. Okay, so they're gonna fill my deck with chard, which does not feel very good. Now, fight dirty. Improvise a card. So I get uh, just a brand new card. Let us just straight up do that. Draw two cards. Game on power. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take a power. Um, increase my damage. And then whip out old Sal's daggers. Bleed. I love bleed like effects. So then they'll continue to take damage after this. And... Doggo. Doggo's gonna bite, but they're gonna punch Doggo. Come on, Bongo. You can do this. Nice! They gave up. So, I can choose if I want to execute them. Um, now... I feel like Pluck... Pluck should be fine. Because, you know, they're working for the person that gave us the job. But this guy... Um, who... They punched my dog. Right. He's still happy to surrender. We gotta send a message. 
Oh no, Sentru hates me. You've incurred her fury and will likely face the consequences. We've been blacklisted. At the start of every negotiation, discard a random card. So if you upset people, you pick up traits. And uh, we now have that in our life. Um, ooh, get some money. New battle card, workers' gloves. Oh, very cool. And pick a new card. Uh, discard a card, attack a random target, but eight damage feels really good. Man, I'll take that. Please, please don't kill me. I just made a mistake, that's all. I'm not going to kill you, but the client might have. Now, at least I can say you've learned your lesson. Don't screw up again. You can't afford the consequences. Uh, you leave Pluck to contemplate her fate. Now you have to explain the situation to Yibbit. Um, okay, so they don't like me because I kind of like beat them up. And also this person hates me because I killed their friend. So I could provoke them and make them attack me and then I could kill them. It depends on if we think they're going to come and like bite us in the ass later. Probably not a good idea right now. Okay, we're going to have to tell Yibbit about the business. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Yibbit. Uh, the hard times have taken their toll on Yibbit. But Yubit doesn't seem to mind. Hey! <laughs> is how Yubit can talk. Tell Yubit about Pluck. You, Yubit. Enid hired me to look into your missing goods. Yeah. Turns out Pluck cheated you and Enid both. So I dealt with it. Hey! Dealt with how? She's dead? She's alive. Barely. But no one will try to cheat you or Enid again, believe me. I did kill her friend for no real reason as well. Oh, uh, I've got to convince... Okay. I want to stress that this isn't really Enid's fault. You're not planning any retribution, are you? Hey, wouldn't you in my position? How do I know Edit wasn't trying to cheat me too? Keep that beast away from me! Okay, so now we're on the other, like, angle of the game of, uh, if we're not fighting, we're chatting. Uh, in the negotiation phase. So we have a, uh, level of resolve instead of a health bar. And the way you do this is you kind of, like, build up arguments that you can use against your opponent whilst throwing down, um, things that are going to get rid of them or stuff like that. It sounds complicated, it looks wacky, I promise you, very, very simple. Also, because I have this untrained dog who's just yipping around, that's going to deal two damage to me every turn. Oof, gotta deal with that. Um, but we can get rid of it. So either I can attack him directly or I can destroy the arguments that are around here. So if we think this game is going to last a little bit longer, uh, maybe taking that out early would make sense. Uh, we'll start out with improvising a card, because that's always fun. Um, ooh, okay, that's free. Not amazing. Bait. So basically, I can throw down some arguments that he now has to attack this instead. I'm on your side here. That's not how I speak. I'm on your side here. I kind of think I want to take out the dog. This can go easy or this can go hard. And we'll quick talk the dog away. He's a good boy. Um, bam. So we're only taking his direct damage because we destroyed that argument. There are some nuances. There's some, um, you know, extra abilities and stuff like that. But honestly, these are the, the bare bones and it's pretty good. So, suspicion. Diplomacy cards deal minus one with a minimum of one damage. So my fast talk for diplomatizing, much, much worse because he's suspicious against me. Um, not very cool. Um, so we can put up some composure so we're not actually going to take any damage. And then I guess we just kind of like, I guess we just go in and just start um, threatening. Boom. A press, three damage, and a threaten. Uh, because right now our fast talk, not as strong. So I think we're going to go more on the aggro and a bit angrier. Make them vulnerable for two turns. And suddenly now these are dealing one point of extra damage. Bonk. And... We could shield if we wanted to be safer. I think we will. I think we will do the shield. And then hopefully next turn we go for the kill. Okay, what is their new argument? Bone tired. Um, oh! Okay, if I was to destroy this, um, they would lose six resolve, and it's only got two health. That could be good. Let's start out there. Oh, and then... Your mother's so old that her breast milk is powdered. You breastfeed like this. 
bonk, and because we killed that, he got too tired to argue with us, and what do we want? God, they all feel really good. Uh, I'm gonna go with that. Uh, it lets us play a bit more defensively. And it's just trying to set up an honest, uh, reputable, uh, a long profitable venture here. She got cheated, as you did by Pluck. Hey, I suppose that's true. All right. I won't break the hammer down. You served off enough retribution for my tastes. Exactly. Glad we could come to an agreement. Oh, I got 60 shells. And I got bonus 30 shells, giving us a little bit of cash money. Great. So he is still neutral to me. Um, I'm not going to bother bother hassling the other people right now. Um, ooh. Right. Asset recovery. Oh, what is this? Desolate battlefield. Limited time opportunity. Or... Get a hit flask. Wow. All diplomacy cards deal maximum damage. Very, very good. A recent fight took place here. Maybe there's still some treasure left lying around. Well, let us go and check that out. Uh, you come across signs of a recent battle. If there were any winners, they weren't the type to loot the battlefield. The bodies are still fresh. Best to grab something and run before the beasts are drawn by the bloodshed. A combat gauze. Get some healing. Lumen grenades. Nice. Uh, rigged wiring. Gain two power at the start of battle. Uh, lose two power the first time you take unmitigated damage. Wow, that does sound good. Yeah, actually the power, because that deals extra damage. I think going on that. Bam. Okay, we installed that. We now have, like, um, m m massive plugs in our head. Uh, you wrestle the loot lodged in the mud as a mournful howl cuts through the air. It isn't long before you're joined by the pack. <gasps> it's a wild fleed! Okay, right, there's, there's buggos. Um, one's going to bite my dog, which is not very chill. Uh, one is attacking me, but I want to put some defense up because otherwise I'm going to take some more... Um, I'm going to lose my power. Because right now, elbow strike normally would only deal three, but right now, up to five. Uh, discard a card at random. Oh, I don't want to use these guys because it destroys them. And so, we're gonna just go in on this. Do we kill one? Bam. Oh, it's a random target. Choose a card to discard. You. Nice. Oh, he ran away. Bye-bye. And... Ow! He span into my dog. Okay, Doggo is always gonna kill this guy by himself. Um, and our powers combined. God, he's taking like a lot of, a lot of like defense there. Get the daggers out. Apply to bleed. Yeah, get that in there. Ah, oh, he's gone. Okay, right. We did good. Doggo, I'm sorry you got bitten. Putting a battle. Uh, restore one resolve. Putting us back up to the 30. Fantastiche. And pick a battle card. Now, what do we want? Sneak attack, spend two combo. Uh, spend two combo, this costs zero. Wow, okay, that could be good. Draw a card, it costs zero until played. Oh, I do like the sound of that. Or we can just take the money. You know what, I'm gonna take the money. The bodies are growing ripe, and more scavengers are sure to be on their way. Uh, best cut it while you're ahead. Okay, right, we got like a little brain plug. I feel good about that. Boom, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, just a reminder, don't forget to go and check out the link below. The game is available right now. Um, it is a lot of fun to play. It has tons of replayability and is just all round good times. And thank you to Clay again. Uh, they came and they helped to support this channel. They sponsored this video, which is great. Uh, and if you like that, then maybe you want to check out their games, um, which is super cool. Goodbye.